bulbs wrapped like this in a plastic wrap. It's a one-time use. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your pelvic binder, just like this, okay? And the use of a pelvic binder is usually for a pelvic fracture, um, and you want it to go in the symphys pubicis. So what you're going to do is unroll it. Oh, symphys pubicis, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's right across here. You want it in this area. You want it to be able to compress the area. So once you unroll it and your patient is on the bed, if they are in C-spine, you would like to maintain C-spine precautions, so make sure that you have help rolling. You're going to roll it onto your patient under the direct area that needs to be of the symphys pubicis. Reach for this side. This is one size fits all, so if it's very large, you can leave it as is, or you can choose to cut one side. Okay, make sure you do not cut the side that's attached. Don't cut the side that's attached firmly, otherwise you won't have an attachment. So you can cut it as needed, and basically bring it up for your patient, bring them together, and attach your Velcro straps. Okay, as is. Be careful where your plastic lies over the abdominal so you don't create a wound. And then the string loosens, so depending on where it is when you put it on, it may be large, or you can tighten it up. And it's just a pull of the string to make sure it's snug. Okay? And then this, you just pull down like this, locks into place. Okay, so now it's locked into place. You want to make sure when it's on that you can get two fingers onto each side. So each side should reach two fingers. Make sure that when you do that, that it's not going to slide from side to side. You don't want it to move on your patient, but you want enough room that um, it's not going to compress. You want to make sure that you check your vital signs and your CSM of your patient down below. So you don't want excessive pressure to cause them to turn blue. Then the binder can stay on 24 hours. Okay, it's radio opaque, so they can take it to CT. They can have x-ray. It can stay on until they go to the OR. Basically, and then once it's done, it gets thrown away. It's one-time use, okay? Um, never remove a pelvic binder without a doctor's order, obviously, because of the blood that can be sitting in the pelvis at that point in time. And basically, to remove, if you were to remove, you just pull this piece up like this, pull the string all the way back, just pull it apart, basically. Make sure you have enough room, undo the straps, and then if you can, you can actually pull it out from underneath the patient. It should slide, or you can cut it off. And then it goes in the trash. Thank you. Thank you. Did I do okay? Did I miss